Hey DIYers, what's going on? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking Chrysler Pacificas today. In today's video, we're going to show you how to remove your spare tire. First glance, it can look a little intimidating, but DIYers, I'm here to tell you, it is very friendly. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers, here we are outside at the Chrysler Pacifica. And again, we're going to show you how to gain access to your spare tire as well as remove it. Go ahead and open up your trunk. There's the trunk area. And here you see a panel and you've got a little handle right here. Carefully just pull that out. As you can see, here's the back side of the panel. Set that in a safe location. And there's your spare tire. Very unique design. A lot different from the spare tires from years ago, right? Check that out. And you've got this plastic clip here. On the very bottom, it's hooked down here and it has basically a little circular or rounded shape to it for a finger. Go ahead and pull up on it carefully, just like that. And you should be able to slide the backside off and down the little teeth and remove these all together and that's removed and then you've got additional hardware in here go ahead and turn that counterclockwise and remove this and i will set that down and this whole styrofoam insert go ahead and carefully remove that and there is your tire got that long threaded stud that sticks out and from here you should just be able to carefully remove it protect that thread. Do not drag the frame of the tire on that thread and damage it. That would not be good. I went ahead and repositioned the camera and again protect that thread. Pull up and shift the tire out. With the tire removed you can now see everything that is behind the spare tire and conveniently positioned in the center is your jack. And to remove it again protect the threaded stud. Come to this little lever right here and turning it clockwise raises it so you don't want that you want to turn it left or counterclockwise and that's going to compress or lower the jack as you see it now becomes a little looser and carefully pull it out again protect your thread here it is and a quick view of the brace or mount that the jack rests in and from here the styrofoam insert has your lever and carefully pull up on that and remove it and i'll show you how to undo this with the lever in hand, go to the back side here, you see a tab. Go ahead and pull on that. You can separate, basically at the hinge portion, the lever to the full extended position. And this side is what connects to the jack right here. Turning it clockwise raises it, turning it counterclockwise lowers it. And in the event that you are on the side of the road without a large jack, this is what you will be using. And back to the spare tire again, a very unique design, far different than the donut or spare tires that they used to make years ago. And I recommend checking the side, looking for the proper PSI and the little stem or cover here. Go ahead and remove that. And if you can't find the PSI, go ahead and open up your driver's side door. And on the inside of the door frame should be a sticker of information on the tire pressure. And in our case, 50 PSI. Now to the tire, this exact same lever. Check this out. Again, that part is to hook to the jack and go ahead and extend the inner portion out. See that? And that is what you use to loosen your lug nuts. And the best way to do this is actually bend the lever at a 90 degree angle point, And now you have leverage to loosen that lug nut. And you will continue this all the way around to remove your tire. Pretty cool, huh? Then when it comes time to store it, there it is. In addition, if you're not at home and you're on the side of the highway, in your trunk is this portable air compressor to fill up your tire. And I just want to give you a 360 view of it. And what we'll do is we'll, again, fill it up with the air and install it. We're not going to bore you with that in this video. In the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to install this donut or spare tire, definitely check out the link scrolling above. It may be helpful. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And one more thing down in the comment section, as well as the description section, are helpful videos on how to adjust your headrests, as well as replace the overhead panel lights. Definitely check those out. Thanks again for watching, DIYers. And DIYers, I'm not sure if this will be helpful to you, but there is a view of the spare tire installed on our Pacifica. And real quick, when it comes time to put that tire back in the compartment, you must deflate it. It will not fit back into that compartment with air inside the tire. Again, you must deflate it.